Say, why don't you just slip your hands up to him? Thank you, Lord. He came looking for me.
Jesus. Oh, don't you love him tonight, church? Thank you, Lord. I said, don't you love him tonight? Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a big hand. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Don't you love him tonight, church? Give the Lord a big hand clap.
were so corrupt and evil. Tongues was just taken. And you know that's what folks are doing. They're just going in stores, going in yeah. wherever they at. Take taking them. I mean, you'd be in the parking lot. They just bold. They don't worry about dying. Shooting it out police no more. They just take what they got. Most times police drive real slow because they don't want to have a shootout. I mean, it's getting pretty rough when it's, when it's like that. In a little place like McIntosh, in the last three weeks we've had two drive-by shootings. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't big enough to go try to bust you. And two men, two men, pulled up our man's house right next to uh, Chad Rochelle's house and empty two shotguns in the bedroom. And then another one that said, We passed by coming down here Sunday. The cops and all people all piled up car out in the woods. They said, they shot him and uh, he died. But just a little place like that, you would think, you know, that it's done come out there too. It's done made it out in a little rural area. I said, out in the rural areas, it's done made it out there. I'll tell you, somebody said it's having a block party in a little place like that. I'm going to pick it up and block the park. <laughs> no time you turn the curb, you're out in the woods. And you turn that curb, you're back to the highway. You know? So people see it happen that they try to copycat and make it a big thing where they at. And they ain't worried about the lives that it can cost. People dying. Going to hell. You know, it's like people ain't concerned about souls anymore. Church ain't concerned about souls. All they're concerned about is a crowd. Being a big name, being a Lord over God's heritage. And those are God that called us. Be no Lord over God's. Oh, He's Lord. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jesus said, don't you try to get in my place. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't no Lord, I'm Lord. Yeah. He's Lord. Yeah. We're not Lord. Yeah. He's Lord. Yeah. The Bible says don't call no man Lord. No man. No man. He's, he, he's Lord. Don't yeah. call no man Master. He's our Master. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. They don't call no man father, but we've got a father in heaven. But he said, don't be lost. And that's what men are doing. They're stepping out of their place and don't even know it. They're, they're keeping up with somebody else that looks big, got a big crowd, a big church, and it's got to be right. And it don't have to be right because it's big. Because it's a crowd. It don't have to be right. In fact, this day and time, that's where the crowd is going, where it's wrong. Where they like, where they preach like, where they tell them what they want to hear. Come on. There's no reproof, no correction, no real leadership to lead people in. To the kingdom of God. Amen. It's like the church of Israel. You're going to die in the wilderness. But it's time and high time to wake out and say, Turn with me to the book of First Peter. Chapter 
We're going to read verse 8. It said, Be sober. Anyone knows what sober is? Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. He's warning us, telling us, look, you need to be alert. You need to be sober. Because you got an adversary looking for you. And you need to be aware of that. You need to be praying, watching and praying. Keeping your eyes open, being vigilant, watching, being sober, not drunk. You know, Paul said, be not drunk with wine, where it is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. So Peter's warning us. That's a rolling line out there. Your adversary. And those are devils are adversary. He's seeking. Look at the people that's leaving here. Look at the people that's going away in such awful ways. Destructive ways. It's the enemy, it's the devil. He's like a roaring lion. Seeking. Hey, anybody that's out there without protection. You know, I thought about Ezekiel where he said, told him to go through and said, put a mark on everybody's forehead, the sign and crime. So those people that are praying, sign and crime, standing up against abomination. Of Israel, set up against sin, to put a mark on their forehead. And then he turned and told the others to go through and slay. Both old and young. But don't come near those that's got the mark in their forehead. They were marked by God, they were kept. And those, we need to be kept. We need God's keep. It takes more than the police. Let me tell you, police can't do nothing with the spirit. The devil's a spirit. That roaring lion is a spirit. He's an adversary. He's a roaring lion. Seek, look. While you're asleep, he's trying to figure out a way to get to you. To get by the Holy Ghost. To get by the Spirit of God. To get by your faith. He ain't playing, folks. He's taking them out of here. That pale horse is riding. He's taking them out of here. That pale horse is riding. The Bible said death and hell followed him. Death and hell. Death and hell, that pale horse went through riding, and death and hell was right on his trail. But he said, be sober. Be sober. I know somebody drunk ain't aware of, of, the, of the real situation that's going on around. You can get out there in the world, get around a bunch of Partying and drinking, somebody almost woke up with an AR-15, and you're so drunk you don't even know what's going on. But if you're sober, you can ease out. <laughs> Smell a rat. Listen to something you overheard, but you ain't told nobody. You ain't even let nobody know you overheard something. You just 
And all I'm going to tell the little piece of problem. And you know what God said? Abraham was waiting on God promised him Isaac and Sarah going to have a child. Mm -hmm. Sarah got bore out. Abraham got bore out. Sarah said, let me bring in my handmaid. <laughs> help God out. And it was like, God don't need no help to bring his word to pass. After all that went on, it was still by faith. After all that went on, after Ishmael was born, and Abraham said, oh, that Ishmael could walk before the Lord. In other words, let's just Let's just take Israel and bless him. God said, no, no, praise God. And Israel was of the flesh, of the born woman. But Isaac was of the free woman. By faith. It was by faith Sarah had Isaac. It was by faith she was too old to have him any other way. Abraham was too old to have him any other way. By faith, Amen. it had to play out God's way. My, 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 my. It had to play out God's way. Mm -hmm. Ishmael was born. Abraham, oh, he loved his son. And the prophet just started dropping down. Ishmael began to grow up. He'd have loved it. But it just wasn't what God said. It just wasn't loud enough to put God in front of And was everything going to line up somewhere. You know, it's just like us sometimes. It don't promise. It comes and comes and preach and comes. And after a while, somebody comes by and says something else. And you say, well, that, that, that sounds good. Let's go that way. God said, don't you go down that path. You better not go down that path. What did I tell you in the beginning? I told you, Isaac, I told you, Sarah, I told you, Sarah is going to have Isaac. Hey, hey, hey. There are a lot of folks that took that path. A lot of people that took that ramp off the interstate. They got off. They got off and got the mess and got lost down there and couldn't get back.
This ain't coming fast enough. Come on. Come on. It's a waiting period. Oh, yeah, God will wait you out and see if you will. You'll live or die one. You'll pray, get to church and hear God's word and stay alive, or you'll mess around and die. your faith. You lose sight. You know what he said without a vision? The people perish. They lost the vision of Canaan land. That's what happened to the children of Israel. They lost their vision of a land full with milk and honey. That's the same thing that's happened tonight. Praise God. People have lost their vision. They got no vision of a revival. They got no vision of restoration. They got no revision, vision of a perfect church, uh, walking with God in power and authority. Out of vision. Speak. 
You know, anybody that just jabber, but it takes a real Holy Ghost speak, John. Anybody can just say something. It takes a Holy Ghost to speak, John. That's when they spoke John to from there all baptized. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah.
praying for revival. They was gathering up this uh, Presbyterian church. They was gathering up praying for two hours a night. Six months passed and they'd been praying two hours a night. Ten to twelve. Six months passed, prophecies came and told them, said, you're closer than you was when you started. Didn't tell them how close they was. They've been praying for six months. Said, you're closer than you was when you started. Keep on going. Keep on going. Wow. It was given up one night. said, you know how they met, I mean, the gratitude they prayed. One prayer time. You know, that's what, they but there was, what they were doing, they were praying for revival. They weren't praying for the Holy Ghost. But that means the Holy Ghost is revival. <laughs> they were honest. Praying for revival yes. in the nation. That's why God don't always come like our raising. He may not desire to fall in that same old, because if he comes in that same old way, then them same old folks are going to think they've got monopoly on him. Yeah, all right, God's going to free himself from all bondages where he can reach the people. The Bible's about reaching the people, not about giving people power to rule over them. Come on, preacher. Revival is about reaching the lost, yeah. not about giving men power to dominate folks to be lords over God's heritage. Right. Yeah. Preaching like this, the reason I don't get invited to be the church. <laughs> they got something going, mm-hmm. and they don't want nobody to destroy or tear down. I know that's what he called Jeremiah. He told Jeremiah, said, root it up. Tear it down. Repent it. Rebuild it. He brought us back to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
I said he brought us back to God. He redeemed us. But on the day of Pentecost, they were all in one mind. One accord. He told us to go in time until you be in due with power from on high. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power unto me. Both in Samaria and Judea. Out of both parts of the land. I said the promise of my Father upon you. Tell Wait. They waited. History said ten days. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, Pentecost was a holiday, a feast day. And they had nothing to do with what was going on in the Once the Holy Ghost was poured out, it was no longer about a holiday. It was about a bunch of folks with the doors. When they told what happened on that day, when they told what happened, when it's written in history, it says, there came a sound from heaven. See, when the Holy Ghost came, all that that they thought they was coming to be a part of was shoved in the background. And now the eyes is on that upper room and there's about 120 staggering like grown people with their tongues hanging out, Woo! speaking in all other languages. And some said, I hear him in my language. He ain't talking to me. Oh, do you hear what he's saying? Brother, do you hear what he's saying? He's glorifying God in my language. And I know them folks are all Galileans. All 120 of them was Galileans. But when the Holy Ghost fell on them, them Galileans begin to talk other languages. People's hearts and tell them about God and the witness about what was going on. That's why I said you speak in new tongue. Through the street, there was this Russian community. They were to speak Russian in Los Angeles. And they wanted to be a part of it, but they couldn't understand English. And probably put a rough English too, somebody from Louisiana. <laughs> they couldn't, they couldn't understand. And this lady. God spoke to him, told him to go over there and preach to them folks. She told them, God told them they bid her to speak. They prayed. She went over there. The anointing fell on her. She put, preached in fluent Russian. Mm -hmm. Never spoke one word of Russian before the house. That's a real move of God. I said, that's a real move of God. French uh, newsman was there. And he was all out in the midst of them making fun and mocking. Just walking around there and out there just praising God, waiting on God. God moved on one, he'd go over there, raise somebody out of the wheelchair, raise somebody, heal somebody blind, somebody, you know, one eye, all kind of miracles just. I can't. God just moved. God just moved. And he was making fun of everybody mocking, everybody speaking in tongues. There had been a, a seven-year-old girl that got saved about two weeks before that. Got the Holy Ghost. She walked up to him, pointed her finger at him in French. She didn't know my French. She said, if you don't repent, God's going to kill you. If you don't get on your knees and repent. God's going to destroy you. A seven-year-old girl didn't know a word of French. 
I know that would cause fear. Come to the church. Make folks start lining back up. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Miracles. Thank you, Jesus. That causes the fear of the Lord to return. You know, that's when God can really move and when people fear Him, honor Him, respect Him, respect His presence. I remember the time I come out of, I was in the Baptist, still going to the Baptist church. I got saved, I go to him even before. Me and my brother would slip off, go to the Holy Church just to see the girl. <laughs> they broke us up from that. They had some of them old women and men would stand up and start prophesying and the fear of God would just sweep over. You forget what you come that for. <laughs> God let me out of me get to the altar. I mean the real fear of God. All that man is gone. That was over with. They hooked you up for coming for that. No, you going there. <laughs> going to the Catholic Church. They danced down there. I was always afraid. Even though it was a Catholic church, I was afraid. Uh, uh, I was in the church. I was taught to fear God. Maybe just down in the bottom of a Catholic church, they'd be just getting down on things. I'd stand back off. Back off, get to the wall. Uh-uh. I didn't know the church. Because even the call of the church, I didn't know it was well, nothing to drink, you know. And I respected God because they called him the church. And I feared him. I feared him. Some of them old saints would stand up, start prophesying, and they used to call it a holy hush. The baby wouldn't even cry. They was crying. Got the spirit of God just bring everything to break. That's the truth, folks. Fear God would feel that and people start trembling. Because you didn't know. Just about like the people that met Samuel yes, at the city limits and said, Brother, man of God, did you come to peace or soul? No. They didn't come out. What are you doing here? We ain't calling you to preach. That's going to be. See, that, that stuff is just to leave. God is just a prank. The heart of the Lord is coming back. The holy order, God Almighty, is returned. He's going to return to His people. He's coming back. Most going to quake. Moses said, "I exceedingly quivered and quake." Tell me the real presence of God show up. I don't care how much pride you got. It'll knock it out of you. It'll slap the snot out of you. Put you on your knees, on your face. Well, they'll take you out with your toes up. They, they have done that a few times, quite a few. And those that took that announce the fires out with their toes up. That's after the Holy Ghost, the book of Acts. They fell dead because a lot about an offering. There the husband, because he lied, and she come in and said, did y'all sell him? Man was sucked, yeah, we did. He said, why have y'all got together and lied? You ain't lied to man, you lied to God. And this is what she didn't even know a husband done there. Said, the same thing took your husband. I promise you, if she didn't know her husband done fell dead, she wouldn't have been in there. She'd have been running the other way. But he came run from God. Catch up with you. Said the same feet that just took your husband out, not two out, to so take you out. Bam! She fell dead to right there before the people. Don't you tell me that won't check things up. And this is what I fear. God, what are you going to have to do to really shake us up and put us back in order?
This ain't no play thing. God is going to do it. It's written. It's written how people once feared the Lord. It's written what God requires. And I know this church age don't teach this. They ain't going to teach it. Because it ain't popular enough and it don't give you no good offering. It don't have folks to your church. It makes them clear out. But the truth has to be told. The truth has to be told for those that want to come in. For those that want to go all the way with Jesus, the truth has to be told for them. We can't afford to compromise and try to save that bunch that ain't going no hell. If they go back, they have their chance. They don't have their chance. Just like you. Even though God's a merciful God, there's certain situations, and that's God's business, and they mine. He said, I'll have mercy on who by You think you ought to be dead in hell? I'll save you. Make a preach out of it. I'll put you on me. Oh, God. He's in charge. Oh, Lord. God's going to set his holy order. There ain't going to be no bondage. We're going to love him. We're going to love his truth. We're going to love his presence. Hallelujah. We're longing for it. Already longing for it. We're not asking for something we don't want. We're praying for something we do want. We know where it's taking us. We know where it's taking us. He's telling us where it's going to take us. It's taking us to a point of no return. You can't come back. Back to business, probably most of all of us have done past the point of no return. To go back now, you'd be lost. You wouldn't make it back. You know, you're responsible for the truth you've been given. For much is given, he said. Much is required. I can't tell directly who God will have mercy and who he won't. That, that's up to him. I just preach the truth. Tell you what the Bible says. But we do have an example in the Bible. We do have an example in the Bible. And as the fires lie to the Holy Ghost. And they both fell dead. In church, after Jesus was crucified, after the Holy Ghost had done come, Jesus had gone back to make intercession for us. And it happened after that. See, this, this bunch of preachers preaching now don't preach of God like that. We're not hoping for somebody to fall dead in church. Not God that scares me to death in preaching. But fear me. I quiver. It goes with me like the Word of God goes with me like it goes with you. What I say in the one, I say in the all. What I say in the one, I say no. Watch it pray. Watch it pray. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Akosha. God's holy order. God's holy order. And you know what? What well, hurts a lot of times, people just they don't hear enough preaching. They don't hear enough the teachings of God. They don't they're not there when it's taught. And, and the effect of it, the effect of it is the greatest effect is sitting right here. Forsake not to send yourself together as the manner of some is. That's right. Don't lay out of church, you see. You need to come in here to preach. You need to be in that presence. The greatest effect of the Word of God 
I'm not saying it don't help folks. Yes, I mean, they, they, you think about people that's overseas. You think about people that ain't got no church in some of these cities. Right. We got folks that <laughs> were We got people that call every week, about every day or two, when they go preach. That's the, 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 this is all they got. This is all they got. And people that's got it at their fingertips, a lot of them don't preach it. And you got three people out here calling. When's the next service? What time? Is he going to start preaching? See, people around us sometimes may not want to hear it. They both want to hear it. Yes, sir. And that, that's the danger. That is the danger of losing something when you've got people pulling on it. Please don't preach to us. See, that's what happened in the 13th chapter of the book of Acts. Yes, the, the, the Jews got upset. And Paul was preaching to him and he told him the, the, the Gentiles said, we'll be here next Sabbath. You want to preach to us? We won't, we're going to show. And next Sabbath they showed up and they filled the house got them. Got them there early. They didn't drag in. I know the folks are really hungry. I remember the day folks used to fill the trunk rolls up. I'm telling you folks. They didn't leave the Bible in the coat in the chair. Right. They leave something to the next service. You couldn't say nothing to them. Now God made them hungry. Leave them alone. They wanted to be right there. They, wanted to, they didn't want to miss one word. It was so important. They were hungry. Really, really, really hungry. That's the danger part of it. You got people just hungry. Like in these other countries, begging and pleading. And they're just all the time just, just trying to get a hold of trying to text them, trying to come to us, come preach to us, come to Africa, come to Kenya, come to India, come, 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 come. come. Please come preach to us. You have to have God to, to really feel it to release you. That's right. He also done told us to go in all the world, didn't he? Right. Preach to every creature. He that believeth and baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be down. And these signs shall follow them that believe. They're folks hungry. You hear what I'm saying? They are people hungry for what the church don't want no more. They don't pick it apart and say, we don't believe in this. We don't believe in that like churches do. We don't believe it like that no more. You don't hear that. They're just hungry for the Jesus. Anywhere you're giving it to them, they want it. Just tell me about him. Just tell me about Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. But the danger of it is when people have got it at their fingertips and don't appreciate it. Won't make the effort that they need to make. You can always find excuses. You gotta press. What do you say? Press your way into it? John said this, but it was the law and the prophets to John. And since then the kingdom of heaven is preached, and every man press his way. If you want to press this, that means there's an opposition of force against you. You press it. You get against something, you press it. There's a force trying to stop you. There's something trying to get in your way. There's something pushing back on you. And if you just let go a little bit, it'll shove you right back on the couch. And then it'll leave you alone. You shove you right back in the bedroom. You just ball up, pull the coat over your head. While I'm down here preaching. The word that everybody needs. 
and those we can come up short, just like going to school. And those people, I mean, you got folks that go 12 years and got a perfect record. That's school. Go 12 years, never miss one day. That ain't pretty good, eh? It would be better if you never miss a service. You hear about it, you hear that 12 years and you never miss one day. They strive and they press. So go when it didn't feel like it. And suck it up and get up and go. But you know, most of the time, church ain't on that level as the word. Most of people don't put as much effort in church as doing this life. Right. You know the truth. Amen. God help us all. Amen. Can you see me? We feel like it's okay to, to <laughs> be light on God. But man will fire us. We're going to talk now. We lose our job. What about losing your soul? You know what? People that's faithful on jobs now, they, they need real work and faithful. Man, they'll, they'll push you so fast. They'll push you faster than you want to go most of the time. Because they just look for somebody they can put some responsibility on. But most people could care less. Make me a check, let me go. I've got to go. Good time. That's the earth you have. Can you save me? Boy, don't you love me? I said, don't you love me? But on the day of Pentecost, there was all in one mind and in one accord. There come a sound from heaven like as of a rushing mighty wind. Fill all the house where they were sitting. There appeared unto them called their tongues like as a fire. And they were all sealed with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The door fell open. They come staggering like drunk men. Peter said, these men are not drunk as you're supposed. Mm. I guess they would say, oh, um, don't y'all go up there praying. Y'all been up there drinking. <laughs> Party. Fooling us. Y'all been doing the same thing we've been doing. But it didn't take them long when they started hearing them languages. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. That presence come out from that upper room. Yeah. Thank God. Because God had gathered them all that day, not for the day of Pentecost, but for the day of the Holy Ghost. That's what day it was. Not the day of Pentecost. It was the day of the Holy Ghost. But it was on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah. And he used that. He used that scenery and that gathering and took it over. And sent the Holy Ghost out. Sent he knew what he was doing and that power took precedent over everything else that power and that presence and what they saw they were, the Bible said they were full of wonder and amazement wonder and amazement oh let the Holy Ghost come let the real Holy Ghost fall and it fills people with wonder and amazement Filled with wonder, watching and seeing what God was doing. Next night they get a little closer and a little closer, and the next night or two they be in the altar. They got a hook in the mouth and didn't realize uh, they couldn't get it loose. Uh, they tried to shake it loose from that hook, uh, but all oh, like that old fish, uh, you got him and, and you reel him in and you give him a little room and you reel him in. But each time you're getting him a little closer, you're bringing him in a little closer. Hallelujah! He don't really Hallelujah! 
hearts and minds would wonder and amaze you. We don't have to figure it out. We just pray. Show up and praise God. Pray and show up and praise God and preach. And the Holy Ghost will do the rest. That's why we got to have an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. We can't do this with man-made knowledge. The nominational spirits. We can't do this. It won't work that way. The day of Pentecost wasn't made up of religion. It was made up of a bunch of called out people. There was about 500 of them. He told about 500. Go down to the city of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. About 120, 380 of them didn't go. Praise God. About 120 out of 500 showed up on the day of Pentecost. And there in that upper room, something happened. Something went on. Something took place that shook the world. And it's always shook the world. It's always when God got ready to shake the world, or shake a city, or shake a town, or shake a man or woman. He just sent the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray. Sin is my 
for the third hour today. But this is what Joel prophesied. In the last day, said God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters are prophesied. You will be in your dream dreams upon my handmaids and my servants. I pour out my spirit in those days. Just before the sun turns dark and the moon drips blue. I will restore the years. That the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm is healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, Lord. One more time, Jesus. Pour it out one more time, Lord. No! Pour it out one more time, Lord. Now this flesh eyes is not this flesh stuff called revival. It's that that comes through prayer. It's born. You know, there's a lot of this stuff just come out of a lot of this religion. You know, said that man that started a heel song thing said he wasn't even saved. You know, people get the thought of that something they don't even know they're going at. It becomes a big crowd, a big Are you listening? They didn't claim that. In North Set, they had a survey. It said 85% of the preachers said it wasn't about souls. It was about a good thing. Good time. He said, how can that be? Because the Bible said, because they didn't love the truth. But the love of the truth. God shall send them strong to do it. All across the land. You can see it. The power, the glory has faith. The lamp. Like it was in Eli's time. The lamp that went out in the house of God. The lamp was supposed to burn 24 hours a day. It's supposed to go out and crush all of us and get the oil in the lamp and keep it burning. It was their responsibility to keep that lamp burning. But in Eli's time, the lamp had gone out. His sons came back. But the one come back, dirt on his head, and said, What about my two sons? Hoffman and Finney said, They're dead. They died on the battlefield. But that ain't what caused him to fall back and to break his neck. What we'll caused him to fall back and to break his neck when they, when you ask him, what about the ark? He said, they took it. The Bible said he fell back. Broke his neck and one of his daughter-in-law's went into labor. He had a son that called his name Ecobot. The lamp had gone out and said this. The Spirit of the Lord had departed. The glory of God had left. God help us. Hallelujah. Thank God we can still feel this glory. Praise God. Let's sit time here. And thank you tonight. Lord, we can still feel your glory. We're not boasting. It's all because of you. We do believe. Lord, we do trust you. We love your truth. We honor your name and word. We honor your great and mighty truth. Lord, we do feel your glory. And I thank you for the glory that we feel here in this place tonight. Lord, I thank you for the glory. And Lord, we're expecting it to get thicker and greater. We're expecting it to come back, Lord, like we've seen it in smoke. Lord, we've seen it in the old churches and tents be so smoky. Hallelujah. Oh, didn't realize just how much God was in there. Because it was so often. Hallelujah. You don't know. No matter how often he shows up. We should never take it for granted. We should always hit our faces and our knees. And say thank you. You didn't have to come by here tonight Lord. But we sure thank you. We sure thank you. That you did. Oh. This is why what I'm talking about. Just this glorious presence we felt here tonight. 
Yeah. We don't even realize what it does for us. Yeah. We don't realize that's what's keeping us. Yeah. Just that presence of God, just that knowing and that knowledge and that word just penetrating. The Bible said I sent my word and healed him. It healed He said, Peter stood up and said, These men are not drunk as you suppose. See, it's about the third hour of day. But this is what Joel prophesied. Hallelujah. In the last days, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I believe it, don't you? I'm holding on to that unchanging hand tonight that God is going to help us one more time. Say, my children, my loved ones. Oh, that the power of God will come and deliver and set free. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, stand on your feet. Lift your hands to God out of me. I believe you're going to restore the years of the canker worm and the caterpillar and the pommel worm. That's it. Lord, the devil has robbed us and stole from us. I believe. Oh, I believe. I believe. Oh, hallelujah. Lift your hand. Oh, I believe. Oh, I believe. Come and let's get around these altars of my knees. Come and let's get around. Oh, let's just come and say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, whatever's in my way, I want to get it out. I don't want to miss an hour of my visitation. Lord, I believe you're coming. I believe the hour's upon us. You're going to restore the years that the canker worm and the caterpillar has eaten. Oh, you're going to bring back the time of the day. Lord, of the day of Pentecost. Lord, there's a new crop coming. Lord, I want to see everybody make it. But I want to make it too. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Come on and cry out to him. Lift up your voice. Lord, we call on your name. Lord, we call on your name. Lord, we call on your name. Oh, Jesus. We call upon your name. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us, Lord. Lord, have mercy upon us, Lord. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord, be to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we appreciate you tonight, Lord. Lord, we feel the richness of your glory tonight, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. For your privy presence, Lord, that stepped into the room tonight, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we won't take it for granted, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we thank you for taking us to higher heights and deeper depths, Lord, in you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we appreciate you, Lord, for that hunger and thirst, Lord. Lord, you're pouring out in your spirit upon us, Lord God. Oh, Lord, make us and mold us, Lord, shape us, fashion us in your image and your likeness, Lord God. Lord, make us the mighty men and women of God that you call and ordain us to be, Lord. Lord, give us a greater hunger, Lord God. Give us a greater thirst, Lord God. Lord, give us, Lord, that what we need to sustain us in these last and evil days, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your truth tonight, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord. Lord, you're wonderful, Lord God. Lord, you're full of wonder, Lord God. Lord, that we look to you, Lord God, as the author and the finish of our faith, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing tonight, Lord. Lord, you're healing, Lord God. Lord, you're delivering, Lord God. Lord, you're giving us wisdom and you're opening up the eyes of our understanding, Lord God. Lord, you're taking us somewhere, Lord God. Lord, we know that we are leaping over hurdles, Lord God. Lord, we see ourselves coming higher, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we thank you for such a truth, Lord. Lord, we need your truth, Lord. We need this word on this wise, Lord God. Lord, the world is running from this word, Lord. Lord, it's a famine in the land, Lord God. For 
the truth, Lord God. Oh, Lord, but we thank you, Lord, that we found the truth, Lord. Lord, we found it and purchased it, Lord God. Lord, that we will not sell it, Lord God. Lord, that we're going to sell out to the truth, Lord. Lord, conform us into your image and your likeness, Lord God. Lord, help us to turn our backs on every part, every position of the world, Lord God. Lord, don't let us look back, Lord. Lord, you say he that puts his hand to the plow and look back is not fit for your kingdom, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you chose us, Lord. We didn't choose you, Lord. We thank you for engrafting us in, Lord God. Accepting us in the beloved, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the love that we feel tonight, Lord. Lord, it's love, grace, and mercy, Lord God. Lord, and you're full of all of it, Lord God. Because that's part of your fullness, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we thank you for pouring it out on us tonight, Lord. Lord, you know exactly what we needed, Lord God. Lord, we're not offended at your word, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for washing us and cleansing us by your word, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for speaking to us by the Holy Ghost, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord, to see this word as a precious stone, Lord God. Lord, help us, Lord God. Lord, do not take it lightly, Lord God. Lord, help us, Lord, to draw nigh unto you, Lord. Lord, as you would draw nigh to us, Jesus. Lord, give us a hunger, Lord God, that super exceeds, Lord, anything of this world, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. Lord, help us, Lord. Humble ourselves as dear children, Lord God, before you, Lord. Lord, take away any pride, Lord God. Take away anything in us that's not like you, Lord God. Lord, clean us up, Lord. Lord, make us fit for the master's use, Lord. Lord, we want to be vessels of honor, not vessels of dishonor, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord, to be gap standers, Lord God. Lord, you say you're soft for men to stand in the gap and make up their hedges, Lord. Oh, Lord, we stand in the gap right now for this nation, Lord. Lord, you say a nation that will turn from you, Lord. Lord, you'll turn that nation into hell, Lord. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you would have mercy, Lord. One more time, Lord God. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us to see things through your eyes, Lord God. Lord, help us to show mercy, Lord God. Lord, so when we need it, we can obtain it, Lord God. Lord, help us, Lord, to not cast judgment on your people, Lord. Lord, because we're looking at the state that they're in right now, Lord. But don't see them through your eyes, Lord. You see them saved and delivered, Lord. Lord, you see them already preaching your word, Lord. Lord, don't let us write nobody off, Lord. It's not your will that any man perish, Lord. But all come to repentance, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing right here in this house, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you allowed us to be able to sup with you tonight, Lord. Lord, you say you will prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, this night, Lord. Just as the day of Pentecost, Lord, you used it as a gathering, Lord God, to do what you would want to do, Lord God. Lord, that's why we come here tonight to gather, Lord God. But we humble ourselves to the Holy Ghost and allow you to have your way, Jesus. Have your way in our lives, Lord. Make us over, Lord God. Sweep over our spirit, Lord. Lord, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Lord. Purify us with your word, Lord. Teach us your way, Lord. Not our will, but your will be done, Lord Jesus. Lord, pour out your spirit upon us, Lord God. Lord, help us to be led by your spirit, Lord. Lord, you said, those that are led by your spirit do be the sons of God, Lord. Lord, in the whole earth is born in the travail, Lord. Wait on the manifestation of the sons of God to appear, Lord. Lord, there's only one way to do it, Lord. We got to do it right, Lord. Lord, your word is the instructions, Lord. Your word is the truth, Lord. 
Your word is what we need, Lord God. Oh, Lord, help us to humble ourselves, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord, that I put nothing before you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we need you more and more than ever before now, Lord. So much wickedness is in the land, Lord. Lord, we need your hands of protection of our Jesus. Lord, help us, Lord, to walk circumspectly, Lord. Not as fools, Lord, but redeeming the time which is lost, Lord. Help us to get in a hurry, Lord God. Lord, there's so many lost souls out, Lord. Lord, help us to reap this great harvest, Lord God. Lord, you're equipping us, Lord. You're giving us what we need, Lord. Oh, Lord, you said the much is given, much is required, Lord. Oh, Lord, don't let us take it for granted, Lord. Teach us, Lord, how to win souls, Lord. Help us to be wise, Lord God. Lord, help us, Lord, to move with compassion, Lord God. Lord, that's how you move, Lord God. You went by the knee, what's that, Lord Jesus? Lord, don't let us just get up, bike and just go anywhere, Lord God. But Lord, help us to be spirit-led, Lord. Lord, let it be ordained by you, Lord God. Lord, help us to not break rank, Lord God. To humble ourselves, to sit at your feet, Lord, and grow, Lord God. Grow into the wisdom of God, Lord. Lord, we bind every demonic force, Lord. Every spirit out of the pits of hell, Lord. Every side imp, Lord, to try to come up against the will of God for our lives, Jesus. We rebuke and bind right now together, Lord, on one accord, Lord. Lord, make us, Lord, and we'll be made, Lord. Strengthen us and we'll be strong, Jesus. Give us an overcoming power, Lord God. Lord, Lord, the Holy Ghost is what makes the difference, Lord. The anointing that destroys the yokes, Lord, it makes the difference, Jesus. We can't do it of ourselves, Lord. But if you don't do it, it can't be done, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to not steal your glory, Lord God. Lord, don't let us see ourselves as Lord over your people, Lord. Lord, but help us to see ourselves as children of God, Lord, brothers and sisters, Lord, of the one heavenly Father, Lord, that will keep us sinning, Lord, keep us sinning on you, Lord, keep our eyes on you, Lord, help us to overcome, Lord Jesus, just as you overcame, Lord. Lord, you've given us everything we need, Lord, it is in your word, Jesus, by faith, Lord. We can overcome, Lord. We shall overcome, Lord. We are your people, Lord. We're grateful, Lord, that you chose us, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, to continue to let this great revival break out, Lord. Lord, let it break out in us, Lord Jesus. Pour out your spirit upon us, Lord. Lord, you the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, Lord. Lord, you did it on the day of Pentecost, Lord. You pulled out of your spirit, Lord. For the ones that was hungry, Lord. The ones that really desired you, Lord God. You know every man's heart, Lord. Lord, you search the reins of the heart, Lord. Lord, you have an all-seeing eye, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you tonight, Lord. For coming by here, Lord. For your very presence, Lord. We felt your presence, Jesus. Lord, everything is in the room right now, Lord. Lord, the healing virtue that comes from you is in the room right now, Lord. That peace that surpasses all understanding is in this place right now, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. All day, very attributes of you, Lord. Whatever we need, Lord. It's right here, right now, Lord. Help us to activate our now faith, Lord. Whatever we believe in you for, Lord. Whatever we need, Lord Jesus. Lord, you are need me, the Lord. You want to meet the needs of your people, Lord. Ha! 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, fill us with your Holy Ghost, Lord. Fill us with more and more of your Holy Ghost, Jesus. Lord, we want it. We need it, Lord God. Lord, give it to us, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Describe me, oh Lord. Lord, set the captive free, Lord Jesus. Break every chain tonight, Lord. Lord, let us rise up off our knees, Lord. To be a better brother, a better sister, Lord. A better servant, Lord God. A better child of God, a better parent, Lord God. Better father figure, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, give us that love one towards another, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to love you with all our heart, mind, body, and strength, Lord. And to love our neighbor as ourselves, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you say in this, Lord, all the other commandments hang on these, Lord. Teach us, Lord. Give us, Lord. Touch us with the figure of love, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We need it, Lord. We need more of you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, let us manifest the very presence of you, Lord. Let the people see you in us, Lord. Let the people see you, hear you in us, Lord God. Lord, you made us vessels, Lord God. You made us vessels, Lord God, to speak your word, Lord. To speak the very oracles of your word, Lord God. To speak it by the Holy Ghost, Lord God. Lord, you've given us authority and power over all the powers of the enemy, Lord God. Help us to understand who we are in you, Lord God. And to know that we are nothing in ourselves, Lord. Give us a great humility, Lord God. Humble us, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. Help us to understand, Lord. Lord, the quickest way up is down, Lord. Help us to stay down, Lord. And stay low, Lord God. To stay meek and lonely, Lord God. Oh, Lord, help us, Jesus. Lord, don't let nothing take us astray, Lord God. Don't let nothing hinder us, Lord God. Don't let nothing hinder us, Jesus. Keep us, Lord God. Move for every brother, every sister, Lord, as a part of this ministry, Lord God. Lord, you ordain each and every one of us to be a part of this ministry ministry, Jesus. Oh, Lord, help us, Lord, encourage us, Lord God, strengthen us, Jesus. Encourage us, Lord. Help us to stand and do all to withstand, Lord. Stand against the wiles of the devil, Lord. Lord, you've given us a sure foundation, Lord God. You say you'll never permit the righteous to be moved, Lord God. Lord, meet every need, Lord. Anyone about us are sick, Lord God, by your stripes to heal, Lord. Lord, go into the nursing home, Lord. Those that are laying flat on their backs, Lord God. Lord, we sing your word to them, raise them up for a testimony for your glory, Lord God. Lord, out of these situations, Lord, let a great testimony arise, Lord God, that you will be glorified, Lord. Oh, Lord, continue, Lord, to bless our leader, Lord. We're thankful and grateful, Lord God. Lord, continue to strengthen him, Lord. Renew his strength like an eagle, Lord God. But a head to protect him, abide it, Lord God, and his loved ones, Lord. Keep him, Lord God. Use 
mercy, Lord. He wants to see this great revival, Lord God. He's already sold out to it, Lord. He believes it, Lord God, and we believe with him, Lord God. Oh, Lord, bring it to pass, Lord God. Bring it to pass, Jesus. Lord, help us to have our eyes set it on you, Lord God. Don't let us be drunk, Lord God, on the cares of this life, Lord. Help us to be sober, Lord, and vigilant, Lord God. Oh, help us to be aware of that adversary, Lord God. Going back to and fro, seeking who we may devour, Lord God. We, well, Lord, does not let us take our eyes off of the enemy, Lord God. We see it, Lord God. We well, Lord, help us, Lord, to understand our battles are fall on our knees, Lord God. Lord, we give it to you, Lord God. The battle is not ours, but it's yours, Lord. What's required of us, Lord, is to fall on our knees and give it to you, Lord God. Trust you and believe, Lord, that you are fixing Jesus. Fix every situation in this house tonight, Lord. Every problem, Lord God. Every lonely feeling, Lord God. Every backache, stomach, and toothache, Lord. Whatever's going on with your people, Lord God. Lord, we believe together, Lord God. That you've given us an overcoming victory, Lord. We have the victory in you, Lord Jesus. Help us to believe, Lord. All things are possible to him that will believe, Lord. We thank you. We love you, Lord. We give you praise and honor, Jesus. We thank you for this night, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. The church say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Forever and ever. God's kingdom will stand Baptized in one body Not divided by my name Oh, in Jesus' name At the Master's command